in this episode of Starflight. I am Gazatoid. Oh, we recognize that name. And I have come to save thee, thou who breathest not glorious liquid. Drop thy defenses and be saved. Um, no. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. So, last time we were here, we had uncovered a clue about another planetary system to go visit, uh, upspin from where we started. Uh, we did kind of start heading in that direction, bumped into some uh, alien race that we didn't understand, realized that we kind of needed some more communication skills to fully de decode and decipher exactly what they were trying to say to us. So we went back, we sold all the minerals we picked up, and we upskilled our crew. So our screw crew is kind of maxed out on the skills they each individually have for their assignments within the ship. Uh, and so we're going to head back up there and we'll see if we can A, get to that planet and B, potentially bump into an alien race that we can understand. Uh, from looking at the map, we definitely have an overlap between two different races that we don't know yet. And so uh, we might bump into the other one that we haven't met yet, as well as somebody else. So let's, uh, let's jump back in the ship. We'll head straight up there and we will see what happens. All right. We did also get a couple of ship upgrades while we were last in dock. So let's, uh, let's jump out of here. We've got plenty of fuel. Get out of the system and we'll go check out spin from here. Now just looking at my notes very quickly. We are heading towards a system that is 118 by 146. So, 118 by 146. We can just pretty much go straight up from here. Go that way a little bit. See who we bump into. Not sure what the plus two and minus three is about. Oh! That's not a good sign. Um, we will do the same. We will also raise shields. Let's, let's let's have a conversation. Communications. Let's uh, let's let's see. Be friendly. We're trying to be reasonable. We're in somebody else's space. We is Veloxi, by being captain of the exceptionally pleasant vessel SH. Now perhaps the information exchanging. Sure. Um, let's just. See what we get out of a statement. Being friendly. Not trying to do too much. Is you the alien part of old empire? Uh, no. Let's be truthful for now. Um, let's ask a question. What can you tell us about your race? What you got? Best of questions and happily answering. We Veloxi is ancient and prestige. Illustrious Veloxi Empire, too old to imagine. Us is civilized the most. Hmm, humble are we? Who is the old empire then? The the book, the story, the manual doesn't tell us too much about the old empire. Um, so what do they know? Veloxi is extreme delightful. The old empire was wiped up. The empire was many scoundrel activity, too naughty. Hmm. Okay, so they, they're glad they're gone. We're interested in information concerning the Ancients. Can you help us? What can you tell us? The Ancients is ancestors of Veloxi. Veloxi legend is saying, Veloxi is powerful race. Ancients was powerful race. Obviously us is relative, or our relative. Uh, are you sure? How do you know? What else you got? What else general information can you share with us? Anything? Anything going on? We are long time receiving Old Empire Distress Call from System 17594. Okay, that's information we should get hold of. Uh, let's have a look. 17594. Nope, taken. Uh, of course, Veloxi could be caring less. Well, that's nice of you, isn't it, to not respond to distress calls? Hmm, tells us a little bit about you. Okay, I'm going to terminate that. We're going to... We're gonna, oh, wait a minute, I can scan this person's ship. This isn't the same people we bumped into last time, right? Uh, Injurium, Cobalt, Molybdenum, sure. 
Um, I can do an analysis. Let's find out what kind of ship it is. It is a scout ship. Shields class 3. Shields raised. Weapons disarmed. Okay. I feel fairly confident that we can leave if we're able to escape them. I'm going to drop my shields because I think we're good. I don't... That wasn't a particularly threatening conversation, so... That should be okay. I actually don't know what that plus minus thing on the corner there is. Um, what's it trying to tell me? I'm not sure. But we're still heading up to our original coordinates. I believe this is that system. Oh! Another ship. Let's scan this one. Okay, these are the people that we talked to last time. Yeah, we'll be friendly again. We come in peace. This is Captain Goo of the Spemin ship Scree. Okay, so we're, this is the Spemin. We are on a peaceful mission. We, have, we, bring f we are bringing food to homeless, starving young skeletoids of your kind for their sake. Please do not harm us. You're fine. No, no threatening. No, no need to threaten. Um, yeah, tell me a bit more about your people. What can you tell me? Certainly, our races have been friends since ancient times. In the War of the First Wave, we fought as allies against the Flegmac and Numlock side by side, back to back, singing our songs of friendship. Good to know. Any information about the old empire? We're trying to dig out something of our history, it seems. We were once a part of the old empire, as were the Velox, the Thryn, and the Eldwan. Your kind has unjustly forsaken us, we who have nothing but respect and admiration, and yes, even love for your people. For shame. Well, that certainly confirms that the old empire is where we came from. Uh, what can you tell us about the ancients? What you got? There are many ruins of the Ancients in Spemin territory. In fact, there is a great city of the Ancients in a nebula just outward of our home planet. Of course, the location of our home planet is secret and any Spemin would die before we would reveal it. Okay. Uh, so the map quick tells us there's quite a few nebulas within Spemin space if it's that big ring that I think it is. So uh, we'll have to dig that information out another time. Okay, general info. What can you tell us? We're looking for clues for many things. There is a secret way into Ulek territory. The first jump point... Oh, this is a lot of things. First jump point is at 106139. I will make some notes. Uh, the second is at 64186. And the third is at 35186. Do not try to do this. Why would you give me the info then? It's good to know, but don't use it. Now... Can I just get out of here? Can I go? Are you going to attack me? I don't know. I'm, I am actually realizing that I haven't got tons of fuel left. Um, let's lower them shields because they do use fuel. Okay, they're turning back. Let's see if we get to this planet. And I'll pull the coordinates out of our notes. Alright, let's give it a scan. Oxygen, CO2, water. Um, this could be a colonizer option. Rock surface 1.4 G. Density is thin for the atmosphere. Temperate to searing and moderate. I think that qualifies. So we're gonna, uh, hold on, we're gonna log planet. Let's land. Let's check the notes again. Where do we want to go? Uh, clue. 16 south by 20 west. Okay. Uh, 16 south, roughly. By 20 west. That's going to be kind of on the shore here. Careful. Oh, there you go. There's another ruin. Sweet. Let's go check it out. Picking up dodecahedron. Must be an artifact. Intelligence communication. Ship was attacked by the Gazotoid. All crew were killed and the new auto scan device was stolen. 
A probe was able to track their ship's tachyon trail to the system 68 by 66. Okay, another clue. Other than that, we don't... And then we don't have anything else. Okay. Uh, I do see some species here that we could probably collect. Oh, don't shoot it too many times. There we go. Service minerals, always fun. Yes, let's collect just a couple of peeps. Uh, uh, am I going to get attacked by those birds? I think I am. Oh, not great. Of course, it's back where I was. Are you going to attack me? Birdie. Oh, I might be able to catch this bird. Maybe. Maybe. Oh no, there's more than one now. That's not good. Stop attacking me. Oh, I got a bird. I got a bird. Bird. Okay. Getting out of here. Oh, I don't have enough fuel. <laughs> okay, we did that. We got that clue. Okay. Uh, let's get on the ship. We'll take off. Okay. Alright, we got some clues. We're gonna need to get some fuel. Still don't know what those... That coordinate thing is trying to tell me. I believe I can navigate around in the system without spending any fuel. So that's at least... That's a big giant. I'm not going to be able to colonize that. Let's uh, let's keep going. What's the other planet look like? Come on, there we go. And we're in orbit. Metal compounds. Well, that's that's out. Um, okay. This last planet, I think, is going to be another giant. Yes. Oh, we just escaped it. Let's see if we have enough fuel to get home. It's gonna be close. It's, it's, I think that's it, right? No, nope, this is some other system. Oops. Oh, who are these people again? Let's scan them. Just, just double check. Okay, same people. Let's just try and get out of this conversation. Please now the identifying, I think so. All right, we'll open comms. We'll do it as grovelly. Hail, O oh mighty ones. Please don't harm us. Superior Veloxi Majestic, our oldest empire. 100,000 years, the long time. Assuredly, you is barbarian upstart infidel. Well, thanks for the confidence vote. Um, I'm going to ask you about general info, because that seems to be a good way to get clues. What can you tell me? Please. Certainly a most perfect number is precisely six. Veloxi are known this absolutely. Is sacred number of ancients, and of course the six legs. Okay, number six might be important. I will make a note of that. Because they mentioned it. Okay. I'm gonna try and just get out of here. Let's go. Don't shoot me. Please. Alright, we're clearly in their space still. Let's have a quick look at the map. Um, oh, I see. I went a little bit too far core wood. So let's just come out of here and go south. South. Down spin. We'll come back here in a minute. I need to make sure we get back with the fuel that we have. It's going to be close. I don't know if we're going to make it. Okay. One, two, three, one, eleven. Where have we got to go? Uh, 
we have to get down to a hundred. And we came ever so close. I am going to have to do a distress call. It's going to hurt monetarily. Yes, supplemental evaluation. Uh, emergency distress calls. Captain and crew of any vessel invoking emergency distress calls shall be liable for all costs incurred by Interstell Corp. As a result of rescue operation initiated on behalf of said crew, you have been fined 15,000 monetary units. That's an expensive mistake for not buying enough fuel. Um, fortunately, the recommended recommendation for that colonization of that planet did work out, so we got an extra 30,000 credits for that. Um, so that's good. That was a mistake, though. <laughs> we have a new message about ruins. Let's check this out. One of our ships has stumbled across some ruins on the third planet of our own system. There is evidence that there may be more. This may be worth investigating. I would definitely appreciate more information than just the planet. It's the big planet. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. That's not the tons of information. So that's a little tricksy. All right, let's sell some materials that we picked up. Not too many. Dragon and Megapede appear to be the ground ones we picked up. Not worth too much, but the Wing wing Wraith was definitely worth a little bit of money. Uh, and then, yes, we picked up a Dodecahedron, which I, I'll have to go to space to have a look at. Um, we don't have any fuel. We have tons of credits right now, so let's make sure we buy enough fuel. I wonder if I just didn't buy any last time. Let's make sure we have enough, right? There we go. 60 fuel, that's enough to definitely get there and back. And then a little more. Got enough credits as well to maybe upgrade a few things. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can afford an upgraded engine. And I wish you could look at the prices before you tried to, to buy one, but you can't. So. We're gonna we're gonna save the game. I don't really want to use a save file to do this, but I may have to. Let's sell our engines. Fast four is thirty-eight thousand. Okay, sell that. And we're gonna buy the engine. Class five is too much money. So back to class four. Okay. At least now we know we're gonna need quite a bit of cash for that. Um, wide angle stunner I'm not too bothered about and the other ones are too expensive so let's go back into space quickly. We had some more clues right? Third planet of our own system. I mean let's very very quickly have a look. Here's the third planet. How big is the surface because be here all day trying to just randomly find it oh that's the wrong button that's the wrong button here we go I don't probably need to actually do that let's land it is a big planet this would take a long time to scan so let's not do this let's let's see if we get other clues that help us with this Speaking of clues, let's quickly check what we had. Um, we checked out that planet. We were told about some secret path into Ulex uh, space or Ulex uh, space. They gave us a clue at 6866. We were told about the interesting life in the system 149, 133. And the number six. So 6866 might be the way to go knowing that that is quite a ways in the opposite direction to where we've been we could check it out let's uh let's head in that direction and see what we find maybe we can bump into a flux or something to make it quicker on the way back who are we going to bump into on the way though oh new ship 
I've never seen that before. Uh, what the heck is that thing? It is a ship of type unknown and has a pulse cannon but no shields. Let's see if we can get conversation style. Greetings. Captain, something very peculiar is happening. I am receiving a message, but there doesn't seem to be any transmission. What? Well, that's weird. Let's convey our best wishes. Let's see who this is. Through the windless night we sail to watch the timeless dance unfold. Out of joy we share the tale to any who would have it told. Who are you? Please tell me more about who you are. Or what you are. Time, it seems, doesn't flow. For some it's fast, for others slow. In what one in what to one race is no time at all, another race can rise and fall. Uh, this is just a riddle, it would seem. What else can you tell me? The virus spread like burning fire. The sea of dread rose higher and higher. The crystal ones had to fight by causing suns to ignite. Self-defense, it is their right. The crystal ones had to fight by causing the suns to ignite. That seems to be a thing we're concerned about right now with solar flares. Uh, okay, that is maybe a clue. The crystal ones. Back when all the stars were young, before the minstrel songs were sung, when this galaxy was new, there came from far the crystal few. Gradually they spread through space. They were the first, the only race. Okay. Is that the old empire though, or is that the ancients? I was asking a question about the old empire. I'm not even sure that it's answering my questions, or is it just telling me a riddle? harder still to recognize that which lies before one's eyes. So many races have believed in only what was preconceived. That which is ancient may be new. It all depends on point of view. Well, especially if we're talking about time. Uh, okay. Last question. Can you tell me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Communication just ends. Interesting. Don't even know what we were talking to. We can barely get away from it? Yes, okay. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna quickly check on the artifact that we picked up. Dodecahedron, pacifist device. Something to do with communication. I don't know what it means, whether it makes other people passive. Like angry people? Um, I don't know. Where's the yeah star map? There it is. I was gonna say I can bring the map up in the game, so we can just kind of double check where we're going. Because those coordinates that it gave us as a clue was sixty-eight by sixty-six, which is kind of roughly here. That's in the edge of a nebula. Interesting. Do see, do see a flux there, but let's keep going. I still don't know what those coordinates mean. I'm gonna to have to look that up in the manual. Um, 68 by 66, there is indeed. Oh, I went into a flux. Where the heck are we now? 97 by 79. Where did we just end up? Yeah, we're kind of over by the area I think we were told had a lot of fluxes. Um, let's scan this person. Ooh, another ship I've never seen before. What are you? Who are you? It's a scout ship. It's it's okay. It's friendly. Hopefully. It, let's start with friendly. Let's not assume that people are going to not like us. Repent, air breathers. Repent. The hour of judgment is at hand. Yeah, now you have me worried. see how this is going to go. 
And lo, until them it was said, ye shall go forth and cleanse the galaxy of the accused breathers of air. Well, that doesn't sound like a good thing because we breathe air. So they're going to cleanse the galaxy. That's not great. Because we live there. Tell me more. Reflect upon thyself and be appalled, for art, for art thou not the accused, accursed, abomination? And so shall I raise this my tentacle and smite thee. Yeah, I'm gonna change my posture to like hostile because I don't like, I don't like you right now. I'm kind of worried. We require information. You will tell us about the ancients. Let's see how this posture change works. This posture change did not work. Fail. Get out of here. This is not good. Ooh. Can we escape? Hopefully. I mean, I could attack him. I kind of don't want to start a fight yet. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fluxes. Can I get back to that other one? Good, sweet, okay. Well, we know we could shortcut that way. 518 days for this flare, interesting. Um, it didn't tell me where to go in here. It just said go here. Oh, nuts. Whose space are we in now? Yeah, okay, so we're in their space. <laughs> we're learning a lot on this map. These people don't like us. That's not good. Uh, I think I'm going to raise my shields. And then we're going to... Let's have another chat. Let's try friendly again. Can we come to some kind of reason? I don't know. I am Gazatoid. Oh, we recognize that name. And I have come to save thee, thou who breathest not glorious liquid. Drop thy defenses and be saved. Uh, um, no. I think I'm good. Can you just give me a clue before we have to get into a fight? Please. What you got? Innovin. Fear not, vile air breathers, for in death shalt thou findeth redemption, and I am the redeemer. Great. We're gonna have a fight then. Cool. Oh no. Oh no. I have friggin... So that's... Well, we found out what pacifist does. Friggin weapons don't work. That's not ideal. They haven't fired on us yet. So... I'm going to lower my shields. Oh, I didn't even raise them. I thought I had them up. Can you not raise shields? No, look at that. They go up and down straight away. Uh, okay, so not being hostile meant they didn't attack us. It's good to know. Fluorine, chlorine, no hydrosphere. Bunch of good resources, though. Uh, rock. Yeah, gravity's kind of high. Temperature's okay-ish. Yeah, we got a clue of like this system, but that was it. So, how are you supposed to know where to go? These planets have a lot of have a lot of space to cover. I am gonna drop in here quick. Ideally, not hit the planet. Oh, it's kind of high, which we knew. Fun. It is stormy weather. Yeah, okay, that's the only thing we got there. That's let's let's have a little peek around quickly. I know. I know. I'm not going back that way going this way because we know we're going to get teleported back so we don't have to stay behind the ship yeah trying to find anything in this whole system with no coordinates is going to be a little bit of a needle and haystack situation so this will be a very quick mineral stop and then we'll just get back into space I'm not going to make that now. Oh, so close. All right. 
We're gonna just get out of here. I'm assuming that 5G's is probably our limit for uh, getting back off a planet because that was a little close. Oh, okay. So we found a good looking planet. Oxygen, CO2, water, zinc, platinum, and nickel. Some good minerals in there. What else do you got? Uh, 1.5G, moderate. Tropical to Inferno. I think tropical is the limit. Weather violent, I think it's too bad though. It's above moderate. So yes, that's not going to cut it for a colony. Again, unless this planet had like one tiny island, I don't think we're going to find any clues on it by just randomly searching. It's unfortunate they gave us the coordinates to a solar system, but nothing else. Um, it's going to be tricky. We're going to have to see what we can do about that. What's up here? Another planet. Give it a quick scan. No atmosphere, so that's fine. Checking the gravity is probably a good idea before you attempt to land on it. Uh, no. Still don't. We'll still be searching for a needle in a haystack, and we could do that, but that's going to take some time, so. Oh, we got fluorine, so we're done there. The hydrosphere is oxygen? Okay. There's no oxygen in the atmosphere, I'm really confused. Um, yeah, again, check gravity. 4G. Uh, yeah, that's like, that's not a good place to land. Do a very quick scan. Oh, too high. If we just randomly came across something right now, that would be uh, amazing. I don't think it's going to happen. It really shouldn't, statistically. So, you know. Oh, this planet's got a bit of activity going on. Probably not a good place to land then, anyway. Let's go back into space. So, that clue didn't really help much. What we're supposed to learn there. Um, we might just have to go search some planets and see if we can find a clue. But um, yeah, that kind of didn't get that ended a little bit. Um, okay. Well, we have to go back and sell this damn artifact that means we can't fire any weapons. Gotta get rid of that thing. So let's do that. Let's go back. We'll uh, drop into that flux again and maybe jump into the other one that was on the other side. Let's see if we can shortcut back home a little bit. Okay, so turning around, back into here. There's a whole bunch of them. So let's try this one, he says. Hello, who are you? People I don't want to talk to. Okay, let's get out of here. Can't. Yes, repent. I understand. Yes, cool. I'll be over here repenting. Well, that guy is has a name specifically, and we should probably deal with him later. Ye, into the heavenly realm I send thee, for I am the tentacle of righteousness, and I shall smite thee with love. Will you really? Oh, we ignored him for too long. Things are armed. Sixty-one by one thirty-one. Where the heck did we just jump to? We'll have to plot that flux location. Um, let's jump back in there. We're gonna just have to go home. Oh, let's try another. Oh, no, there's even more. Wow. One one eight by one o seven. That's pretty close to us. Our home, I think, right? Yes. Okay. So we just need to go down down spin and forward a little bit there we go that should be our home sweet okay so that's a good that's a good way to get over there with not spending much fuel don't keep tabs on that 
I will plot those known flux paths on the map. So we have them for reference next time. Okay, let's get this damn thing off the ship. <laughs> Though decahedron is not a good deal. All right. Uh, where are you? Don't take Hadron, yes. Be gone. We'll sell the other things we picked up on the way. Not too much. And we will need some more fuel. For next time. Okay. 30,000 credits left. 54 endurium. That's a decent chunk. We'll use those fluxes to uh, get back to places we can shortcut. I guess the other clues they gave us were a distress call, 175 by 94. We picked that up last time. Uh, and then interesting life at 149 by 133. So the distress call is probably something we should check out. And we'll see if we can get more info on the, the other system that we just run, bumped into that we there's a clue there somewhere, but we don't know what we're looking for. So, uh, let's save the game, and we'll pick that up next time. So, thanks for joining us again. Uh, found some new species, got a couple more clues, gotta keep checking out for uh, more artifacts that we can locate. We'll check out that distress call next time. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.